Even the most expensive tech can run into a few issues through its lifespan. Now, a majority of what we've produced usually comes with a seemingly foolproof plan, but it always has a tiny margin for error, which on most occasions are taken into consideration. The same goes for the James Webb Telescope. Humanity's most expensive and powerful observatory might look like an almost errorless marvel, but in reality, nothing in the cosmos is that predictable. The Webb has reportedly been facing some issues that might sound alarming at first, but the plot thickens as the investigation goes deeper. So what is really happening to the web, and why? Let's find out. The James Webb Space Telescope's ultra-cold camera has had a technical problem that is making the ground team delay some observations. The issue with the James Webb Space Telescope's Mid-Infrared Instruments, or MIRI's grading well, which lets scientists choose the wavelength of light they want to focus on, affected how well the telescope could see light at different wavelengths. The wheel is only used in one of the four observation modes, the Medium Resolution Spectroscopy, or MRS mode in which the camera collects the light spectrum instead of actual images. Light spectra are like fingerprints of light absorption of the various chemical elements in the observed objects. Before we get any more confused here, here's a quick refresher of how the MIRI works. The Mid-Infrared Instrument, or MIRI, has a camera and a spectrograph that can see light in the mid-infrared part of the electromagnetic spectrum. This type of light has a wavelength that is longer than what our eyes can see. A spectrograph is designed that breaks light up into different colors or frequencies and records this information on a plate or other type of multi-channel detector. MIRI uses silicon arrays doped with arsenic to make observations at these wavelengths. The imager has a larger view than the spectrograph. Because it views the longer wavelengths it needs to be cooler than the other instruments, it has an additional cooling system. The cooling system for MIRI includes a pulse tube pre-cooler and a Joule Thomson loop heat exchanger. During operations in space, MIRI was cooled down to a temperature of 7 kelvins. MIRI covers the wavelength range of 5 to 28 microns. Its sensitive detectors will allow it to see redshifted light from distant galaxies, new stars, and faint comets, as well as objects in the Kuiper Belt. Iris Camera will provide wide-field broadband imaging that will continue the amazing astrophotography that has made Hubble so popular. The spectrograph will allow for medium-resolution spectroscopy, which will give new physical details about the distant objects it will observe. NASA officials wrote in a statement released on September 20th this year that ground control teams first detected the issue in August and after further investigation decided to stop observing the wheel. The agency formed a review board to figure out the best way to move forward. NASA officials wrote in the statement, The web team has paused the scheduling observations using this particular observing mode while they continue to analyze its behavior and are currently developing strategies to resume MRS observations as soon as possible. The observatory is in good health, and MIRI's other three observing modes, imaging, low-resolution spectroscopy, and coronography, are operating normally and remain available for science observations. NASA said that the problem-causing mechanism is used to pick between different wavelengths when MIRI makes observations. However, they added that MIRI's other three modes are working normally and that its overall health remains good. The issue was first detected in July when the instrument's cooler door, which provides a temperature-controlled environment to preserve the mirror's shape, failed to open after being closed for several hours. The cooler door is used when MIRI is not taking measurements, and it allows astronomers to adjust the telescope's optics without contaminating them with heat from their own bodies. The telescope uses infrared light to study celestial objects. It is expected to be able to see objects with temperatures between 15 degrees Kelvin and 5,000 degrees Kelvin, or 56 degrees Fahrenheit and 3,500 degrees Fahrenheit. The telescope will be able to detect things like planets orbiting other stars, as well as investigate new planets outside our solar system. Webb has already survived a previous incident when a micrometeorite hit one of its mirrors. During its long life in space, the Hubble Space Telescope had had a lot of technical issues. It's good news that most of Webb is working as planned. 
As a specialist in detecting mid-infrared wavelengths, Miri can see light from faraway galaxies and stars inside of shrouds of dust. All the instruments require extremely low temperatures to observe properly, but Miri is the most frigid. The other three instruments, NERCAM, NERSPEC, and FGS NIRIS need to be cooled to temperatures of minus 369.4 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 223 degrees Celsius. Miri needs special cryo coolers to get to a temperature of minus 447 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 266 degrees Celsius. Only 12 degrees Fahrenheit or 7 degrees Celsius above absolute zero, the temperature at which the motion of atoms stops. It doesn't sound like we're dealing with a no way out kind of situation like we saw with NASA's InSight lander earlier this year, but it is still worrying because Miri has helped create some great images like Webb's picture of the Tarantula Nebula. It's unclear how NASA will fix this problem with the James Webb Space Telescope. For now, we can at least be happy with what Miri has brought us. Fingers crossed on this one, but we hope that we can look forward to everything else it has to teach us in the future. So, what do you think caused this issue with the Miri? And since the web is stationed so far away, will engineers ever get to fix the issue? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching Space Traveler.